it's time for a Transformers unboxing and review. Inside this box here, I have a Transformer um, spoiler pack for the Transformers uh, uh, War for Cybertron trilogy. So, pretty excited to open this up. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Safety warning, be careful with knives. They're sharp. They can poke you. They can stick you. They can hurt you. So, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what awaits us inside go ahead and open these sides up and point it your way for the big reveal ba -ba -da -da -ba 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 -ba. in here even though you can't really see it it is spoiler pack let's go ahead and take this out and throw the box off to the side here we have the netflix series spoiler pack so without further ado let's cut the ring light on and take it to the review table and on the review table before me, we have the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Spoiler Pack. And I gotta admit, this packaging looks really, really cool. I like this sort of ammo crate look to the packaging. Going ahead and taking a look at the packaging itself, bringing it in, bringing it in for a closer view. We can see you got the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy spoilers inside. We got some nice purple um, light coming through there, some battle damage. You got Transformers, Generations, and Netflix original series. Coming around to the top here, we got a nice Decepticon symbol all scratched and beat up. Got a carry handle, even though it doesn't actually work or anything. We got the uh, hinge for what would be the, you know, door to the ammo crate. Coming around to this side, we've got a picture of our spoiler pack character. That's right, it's Nemesis Prime. And I've gotta admit, I'm super excited for this. I love a good Nemesis Prime figure. Coming around to this side, it says spoilers inside, and it's just got some more detail. Coming around to the back, spoilers inside, bottom of the box just kinda has warnings and stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the spoiler pack itself, getting my trusty, um, box cutter back out we're going to get this bit of tape here i do not want to accidentally safety warning be careful with knives they're sharp they can poke you they can stick you they can hurt you there we go remove that and this is just held on by some tape there we go so we can now set that off to the side and then this section right here actually does have a surprise for us within it um let's go ahead and set all that off to the side for a quick moment and just break this seal here and see what's inside this shall we this should be pretty interesting now this was packaged with the original ultra magnus um spoiler pack so this ooze stuff is not new and it's sort of like a play-doh material as you can see pretty interesting though really do appreciate this but let's go ahead and keep digging and there is a box or a little not a box a little bag of goodies down at the bottom of all this this is pretty pretty cool like slime substance it's really kind of stuck in the bottom there there we go get it all freed up oh, there it is so inside all that ooze we got some energon cubes which is really nice i'm gonna get this cleaned up and whatnot but very very cool we'll get this cleaned up and then i'll show you the energon cubes and just real quick showcasing this here we have our little energon cubes these are pretty cool they're just pink little cubes but very nice inclusion happy to have these the black slime i'm going to be putting in a container and try to keep safe so i can play with it in the future but the energon cubes themselves are pretty cool definitely a nice little inclusion for a spoiler pack bringing the spoiler pack back onto the table let's go ahead and see what's waiting inside so just going ahead reaching in wow and here we have the Transformers War for Cybertron spoiler pack. This looks awesome. Wow. 
All right, we've got everything unboxed, ready to roll. Let's go ahead and get Nemesis Prime out on to the review table. Nemesis Prime does come with his instruction manual and it also has the instructions for Giza and Fangtron and they have been done in the classic purple with light gray and dark gray. So there's that. And then he does have his warning papers. So I, I don't know if this came with two or that's just a spare one I had laying around. Lesson of this instruction or this warning paper. Don't swallow anything in here. Just don't. That's that's the whole point of this little warning paper. Just don't swallow anything in here. Just just don't. Just don't. Just don't do anything to cause yourself harm. The first thing we'll be taking a look at in the spoiler pack set is Nemesis Prime's Battle Master, and that is Fangtron. And as you can see, Fangtron here is a Cobra, and I really do like this guy. This guy's really cool. Got some nice details on him. He's been done in a nice bright pink. Really nice little figure. Coming around to the front here, as you can see, we got some nice silver highlights on the underside of the Cobra hood, and then his head has been picked out in that same silver with some red eyes and some nice fangs molded in there. He does have some articulation. You got a hinge here at the base of the tail. Right above that, a full 360 swivel. Then you got another hinge right above that, and then his head can look up pretty far and then can look down pretty far. So you do have some good movement with this guy. He does come with a blast effect and he does have these pegs on him which you can just plug the blast effects into to make it look like he's being shot at and then you do have one back here. So some different spots to plug in blast effects and he does actually transform into a shield for Nemesis Prime to use and to do that you're going to want to take the head, fold it up, take this panel here and untab it and then rotate it up. And then take the tail assembly here, and there are two peg holes and two pegs right here and here. And now all just have in a place, and you can take the handle and fold it down just like so. Get all this tabbed and put into place. And after that, here we have Fangtron in shield mode, and he looks quite nice. Um, definitely a unique mode for Fangtron here, and I really do like it. It's pretty neat that he can be wielded as a shield for some of the other bigger figures in the line. Um, very nice. He is compatible with your ramps, so if you have like Titan Class Scorponok, you can connect him to any of the ramps that he might have on him. Very nice figure. Definitely am glad they included Fangtron here for Nemesis Prime. The next thing we'll take a look at is Giza here. Giza is this bird, and as you can see, it's pretty cool. There are no paint applications on this figure, unfortunately. Not a whole lot going on with it. It's just this bird. It does have a little bit of articulation in the wings. The wings can flap and angle forward like that. But outside of that, there's no real articulation. Now, this is a repackage of the original Power of the Prime's leader class, Nemesis Prime, uh, Giza. As you can see, I have that figure right here. And as you can see, the spoiler pack version is a lighter gray, whereas the original is a darker gray. And the original actually does have painted eyes. If my camera will focus, there we go. As you can see, it has painted eyes. But setting that Giza off to the side, this, um, this figure actually does transform into a sword for Nemesis Prime to wield. Focus. There we go. This figure does transform into a sword for Nemesis Prime to wield, and to do that, you're just going to take the wings, angle them forward, and then close the wings to make the blade, and then you just take this piece here and fold it up just like so, and then you have a nice little blade for Nemesis Prime to wield within robot mode, and then just doing a quick comparison with the original. So there you have that. Nemesis Prime also does come with uh, another sword, um, as you can see here, and again, this is a carryover from the Power of the Primes figure. Very nicely done, and just giving you a quick comparison. As you can see, lighter blade and a darker handle, whereas this one has a darker blade and a lighter handle, as you can see there. But, very nice accessory. And then, he also has these two cannons right here, which are very nice. Again, another carryover from the original Power of the Primes, and same story, lighter gray, darker gray, but they have been very nicely molded. There are no paint applications on these, unfortunately. 
but very nice accessories. And then he does come with his ion blaster right here. Very nice. No paint applications, just black molded in plastic. So there's that. And here we have the Transformers Spoiler Pack Nemesis Prime. And I've got to admit, this figure looks fantastic. Now, he does come with a trailer, so we're going to take a quick look at the overall truck mode here, and then I'll take a look at the trailer. But as we can see here, the truck mode is done very nicely. I'm just going to set the trailer off to the side since we'll be taking a look at it here in a second. But as we can see here at the front, we've got some nice red details. I'm not going to uh, go too deep into the details details of the truck mode because I want to take a closer look at it but as we can see truck mode here for Nemesis Prime does look very very nice and evil I absolutely love the color scheme for this figure now bringing the trailer back into view this is a carryover of the Transformers Earthrise leader class Optimus Prime's trailer but it's been done in the Nemesis Prime color scheme so it's been given a black uh, blacked out treatment and then has the nice silver striping going along there along the side with some blue and a nice purple Decepticon symbol. He does have it does have some nice molded in detail, some nice silver on the wheels. On the underside here, we do have two support struts that do fold out. So if you want to have the trailer just sitting there on its own, you can definitely do that. Um, that it does it does just fold up. Um, but very nice molded in detail coming to the back here as we can see some uh, there are some like door hinge details and whatnot but the trailer does open at the top here and then this part of the trailer door here does detach to become a shield which is just done in a black plastic but it does have the siege pegs for the blast effects so you can definitely pull that off and then tabbing it back into place just involves you taking these pegs here on the side and then lining, lining it up with the trailer door and it will just peg back into place. In terms of the internals of the trailer, as we can see, there are no paint applications in it, unfortunately. Just a lot of nice mechanical molded in detail. It really does look good. It does have his um, medbay drone and it does articulate on a series of hinges. There's one here at the base one here and then there is a hinge here as well as a swivel and the arms do fold around and are on ball joints so you can definitely get some different poses with this figure again there are no paint applications on this figure i would have preferred to see the cockpit maybe done with some red paint or some red translucent plastic but looks pretty good uh, it's a very nice inclusion to have the trailer uh have this med bay um this med bay mode if you will and here we have Nemesis Prime, and this truck mode looks absolutely fantastic. It's got a nice amount of molded in detail and paintwork, and really does look good. Now, one thing I will note that right out the box, uh, it's not a matte black color like you would expect with a Nemesis Prime. Uh, it's more of this charcoalish black color, which looks good. It's just you would expect it to be more matte black given the nemesis prime repaints that we've gotten over the years but still a fantastic looking figure taking a closer look at all the details as we can see we got some nice silver striping going from the front to the back here and taking a look at the front here we've got this nice red grill and windscreen area here at the front we've also got some nice red translucent plastic for the headlights as well all that red translucent plastic looks really good in my opinion coming around to the side here that so we have that silver stripe we also have some silver down here and some nice silver painted wheels same thing for the ones back here they are a little bit stiff on the uh the back wheels but that's okay um very nice looking some gray in the bed of the truck but that's for robot mode very nice looking uh, truck mode you got some nice silver for the smokestacks very nice looking overall it's a good looking truck mode if you have the original siege prime you know what to expect with this figure just in nemesis prime color schemes now for some comparisons let's bring in the transformers uh, 
35 year anniversary Voyager class Optimus Prime and I don't have the original Siege version to compare him to unfortunately but I do have the 35th anniversary Prime so we're going to use him instead and as you can see same figure just a nice Nemesis Prime color scheme and treatment and honestly it works really well I really do like it um not a thing has changed about this figure just the same uh mold again just a repaint I really would have loved to see the Earthrise Prime mold utilized for this character. I just think that they should have used the Earthrise mold because, in my opinion, it is the superior of the two molds. Now, speaking of the Earthrise mold, now bringing in the original Earthrise Optimus Prime mold, this is the alternate universe version of him, but as we can see, these two figures are completely different in their alt modes, but I really feel like if you were to take this figure and give it this Nemesis Prime color scheme and treatment, I feel like it would work so much better in my opinion. But just another size comparison, as we can see, this truck is actually a little bit shorter. The, uh, the Earthrise version is actually a little bit shorter, but there you have that comparison. Let's bring in a deluxe class figure, Wheeljack. So there's Wheeljack from Earthrise. So there you go. Again, I would have loved to see them use the Earthrise mold with this Nemesis Prime color scheme, but unfortunately they didn't use it. But this is still a great figure and one I'm really happy that I got. But with all that set aside, let's go ahead and dive into the transformation. Now, if you have the original Siege Optimus Prime figure, you know exactly what to expect with the transformation on this guy. First off, we're going to start by taking the wheels, collapsing them in. Then we're going to take these panels here on the side, just untab these, and then we can go ahead and fold these hinges down here. Just take them, fold them down halfway. Then we can take these hinges here and just fold them down. And then we can take this whole assembly up here and then untab that and then untab the front bumper section. And then we can take this whole assembly here and lift it up and out of the way. We can take the arms and pull them out some, just like so. Make sure we've got the proper clearance and everything. Go ahead, take the robot mode head, fold it out, then we can take the wheels, and before we before we tab the wheels in, just go ahead, tab the chest into place, then we can push in the wheel assembly, just like so. And then we can bring the lower torso down, go ahead, raise my camera up, take all this assembly here, fold this up, and then tab these two panels in, and then take the whole grill section of the truck mode, fold it up, take this whole panel, fold it around like so, and then take the arms, fold these pieces in, what were the front bumpers, fold those in like so, take the legs, separate them, fold out the toes like so, and then spin the leg around, take the wheel well of the back wheels from truck mode, and then fold those around. Take this panel here from the inside of this section here, and fold it around, and then there is a tab that will tab in. There's a tab hole right in there. I know it's hard to see because it's black, but it's right there. There we go. And we'll repeat the same process for this side. So take the leg, fold this around, take this, Fold it around and tab this into place just like so. So straighten them out, get them organized. And then we'll take these sections here and then fold them down. And then after all of that, get them straightened up, get them looking nice and evil. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, here we have the Transformers Spoiler Pack Nemesis Prime. And Nemesis Prime in robot mode looks absolutely fantastic. The original Siege Prime mode works really well in this color scheme. I really do like it. 
he looks good doing a quick spin around of the figure as we can see very nice looking robot mode looks fantastic articulation is good there's no mold degradation on this figure at all so all the joints are nice and tight the molded in detail is just the same as the original Siege Prime mold, so you got some detail there at the feet and on the shins. Unfortunately, no paint applications on the shins. I would have liked to see some silver paint, but that's okay. Some nice molded in detail on the thighs and then on the forearms, we actually do have some molded in detail with the triangles and then they are painted red. We got some paint here on the torso. There is some silver for the grill of the truck mode and for the stripe detailing. Um, the chest has been done with that same red translucent plastic that does carry over from truck mode and then it has a nice silver trim going around it and that head sculpt bring the figure in. The head sculpt looks absolutely amazing. And got some beautiful silver for that face plate and then some red eyes with some black paint around it to help break up the detail and some more silver for that head crest. So overall, the head sculpt on this figure has been done really nicely. We've got some more of that same paint that we saw on the torso or on the um, waist. I got a nice Decepticon symbol right here on the side of his arm. Overall, very nice coming around to the back side. There's nothing to him really, just some molded in details um, on the back of the legs. Very nice looking robot mode. He really does look awesome. As far as articulation goes, if you have that original Siege Prime figure, you will know what to expect with this figure. Ball joint in the head can look up and can look down, can rotate. 360 you do have arm outward movement but it is kind of hindered by the smokestack piece 360 swivel at the arm bend at the elbow and then you do have a bicep swivel fists are on a full 360 swivel waist articulation full 360 so you have waist articulation there just make sure none of this back kibble comes untabbed you do have forward movement which is kind of limited and then backward movement which is pretty far you got outward movement you got a thigh swivel which is quite nice a, a knee swivel then a good range of movement at the knee itself and then you do have ankle articulation which is this figure is incredibly poseable so you definitely can pull off some good stunts and poses with this figure. Now bringing in some size comparisons, let's bring in the original Siege Prime or the 35th Anniversary Prime just for comparison. And as you can see, these two look really good side by side in my opinion anyway. Um, I think they look really good. Again, same exact figure, just different paint jobs. One's good, one's evil. Evil, good. Good, evil. These figures do look really good side by side in my opinion. You can definitely pull off some good shelf displays with these two side by side. Um, so there's your size comparison there. Let's bring in the alternate universe Optimus Prime just for the comparison. And as you can see, definitely two totally different figures. They are definitely good looking figures, but... There you have your comparison there. And for a deluxe class size comparison, here is Wheeljack. So, there you have that. When it comes to applying all the different accessories to Nemesis Prime, it can be done. The only thing that doesn't really tab in securely is the sword on his back. As you can see, it's just a little bit loose, but the original Power of the Primes version fits on quite nicely, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. But overall, everything stores quite nicely. So overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions of the Transformers spoiler pack? It's really good. Nemesis Prime himself is a really good figure, and he comes with all sorts of different accessories. So it definitely is a good set to pick up. And there was a Nemesis Prime repaint, but it was a Takara Tomy Mall exclusive. So getting your hands on it, at least here in the States, was rather tricky and hard to do. So this is definitely a great figure if you are not able to pick that original Takara Tomy repaint up. Do I recommend him? Absolutely. He's definitely worth picking up. He comes with all these different accessories and whatnot, and the figure itself is really, really good and cool looking. And overall, I do recommend the set. 
Well, that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of the Nemesis Prime spoiler pack in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions and Nemesis Prime, signing off.